everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's YouTube video is going to be on one of the saddest moments in my life. And if you don't know me personally, like in real life, you will know that I am all about animals. I do not hate a single animal. I love anything that's living. I have two dogs and a fish. And I had a lot of cats when I was younger. So I love every single animal. There's not an animal I would leave out that I love. In my old neighborhood, there was three houses that had three different houses of the mine, so there was four and all. We would all get together and we would go to this, my best friend's house, and we would all just kind of hang out and stuff. And so then there was this other kid who we wouldn't hang out with, and he was like really weird. But he was like bad, and he had anger issues, and nobody really wanted to hang out with him. But sometimes he would just come over and we'd be like, alright, you know. We chill, we chill, you low key, all right. One day, we were building this tree house um, in my yard, and we were we needed a hammer and some nails, and we didn't, enough, neither of our parents would let us have that. So he was like, hey, Amy, come down to my house, I can let you have it. Already this kid was sketchy, and I was like, no, I really don't wanna go down to his house, cause his house is trash. He's like, he's so trash, and he's just so bad and poor and he he just came from a bad family like come on Emmy like I'm not going alone if you want the hammer and the nail that got me I went down to his house and we were looking well his house was locked and he had all of his pets outside he had a buttload of pets like he had like I think like around 10 kittens like a mama cat and a daddy cat and he had like five dogs and he had like a bunch of dog graves and he would always have his animals die. We went over to his house and we went into his porch in his backyard, which I didn't want to, but you know, whatever. And he was like, they have to be on this porch somewhere. And I saw all of his kittens just laying there. I thought they were all sleeping. Oh my God, it's all be playing. I'm gonna cry. I picked up one of the kittens and this little kitten, the saddest thing ever, it was so skinny. Like, they haven't been fe feeding their pets. They didn't even care about them. They're like, no, it's an animal. I don't even care. And, oh, my God. I picked up this little kitten. I had it in my arms. I was like, hey, you know, are they just really tired? He was like, he goes, crap, 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 crap. And he starts saying crap repeatedly. And I'm like, well. So I'm holding this kitten, and it opens up this little mouth, and it goes, <gasps> it's like his last little breath. And I just like, and then he just like fell out of my arms. I was like, I looked at him and he was still repeatedly saying crap and I was like and I put this kitten down on the little chair and I put my hands away and I, t I poked my I was started bawling I started bawling and he was like you know it's okay we can just bury him back here like I have a shovel right over there we can do it right now I was like, what are you crazy like oh my god what is wrong with this kid like making sure the other kittens were all right and literally my mind was thinking i have to get these kittens out of here like i have to get them out of here because if they're not out of here they're all gonna die just like that one and i started picking up some of them i touched in all three baby kittens that were dead three out of like ten what so i had my shirt i was still bawling wiping the tears and i grabbed my shirt like this and i put all the other seven kittens in my shirt and i started screaming my best friend's name which was aurora and i said aurora and she lived up at the top of the street so i started screaming her name at the top of my lungs and she came outside because my my scream is really loud and she came outside she was from the top of the street she says what's wrong i said i said come here and bring cat food now because she had a cat too she was like okay i said bring milk too and she said okay so the dude was like, he was like, no, 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 it's all right, it's all right. I have a shovel right there. Just come here, come here, come here. And I was like, no, just get, get away from me. And I started crying. He approached me and he started to try and take the kittens from me. I said, no, and I slapped him so hard. And he went, and then he backed up. He goes, whoa, chill. And I was like, stay away from me. Do not touch these kittens. Do not touch me. Do not touch any animals. Stay away from me. And I just sat in his driveway, and a boy came running down with like a whole jug of milk, a bowl, and some cat food. And we fed the cats, and they didn't eat the cat food because like her cat was like an adult. 
And Avoa, she was insisting to this dude that we would take the kittens and bring them to her house. He was like, no, 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 I can take care of them. Like, um, I can take care of them, you know, it's all right, it's all chill. I was like, no, it's not, no, we are taking these cats. And I started walking up the street. I go, stop, or I'm going to call the police on you. I said, I'm gonna call the police on you. Stay away from these kittens. You can go to jail for this. You can, these little kittens are dying. Are you crazy? Oh my God. I ran home and I put all these kittens in like a basket that was at Aurora's house and we would not let this guy have him. We would not let this guy have these kittens. I told my mom like um, minutes later after that and she was like, dude, you have to give him back. Like you can't get arrested when he does it's wrong, but you know, whatever. And I started bawling. I've never cried so hard in my life. Boy, well, yeah, I have. I hate it when like pets die and one of them died in my hands. Oh my God. My whole life is just messed up. I have a messed up life. I'm sorry. But I just decided to share the story time today and I hope you enjoy it and like and subscribe and for more videos and check out Just Doing Mac, my best friend McKenzie. Shut up. I'm checking out Denise.Trong, my other best friend Denise, who I'm gonna do in this stream. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the story time and